When I wake up in the morning, love, and my heart is filled with pain, the smile I had upon my face is gone, can't see the sunshine from the rain. When I think of you, then the world is alright with me. Lord, just one thought of you, and I know it's gonna be a lovely day. Good morning and welcome back to your spiritual sports segment on Rima Gospel Radio, better than when you heard it yesterday. I'm CJ. Here we go. Oh, what big news in the world of sports yesterday as the commissioner has handed down the hammer. On Wednesday, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell dished out his punishment for the New Orleans Saints bounty pool and wanted to send a message to the entire league and suspended head coach Sean Payton for the entire 2012 13 season effective April 1st which is unprecedented and Peyton will forfeit a whopping 7.5 million dollars in salary but the commission was just getting started as he banned the mastermind behind the bounties former defensive coordinator and current defensive coordinator for the St. Louis Rams Greg Williams indefinitely in addition to those suspensions assistant coach Joe Vitt was suspended without pay for the first six regular season games and Saints general manager Mickey Loomis suspended without pay for the first eight regular season games, both for the upcoming 2012 season. The commissioner also fined the team $500,000 and stripped the Saints of second round draft picks in this year's draft and in 2013. As the aforementioned story broke, another big piece of news occurred yesterday as Tim Tebow was traded to the New York J-E-T-S Jets, Jets, Jets essentially twice. The first trade hit a snag due to a $5 million bonus included in Tebow's contract, but the two sides agreed to split the difference and the Broncos will receive a fourth and sixth round draft pick for 2012 and the Jets will also receive a seventh round pick. Now on to March Madness for the NCAA tournament as they had the night off and do I hear collective Oh. However, comma, the National Invitational Tournament for the men had its second set of quarterfinal games as fourth seed at Middle Tennessee lost a heartbreaker and was upset by sixth seed at Minnesota 78-72 as Rodney Williams poured in 24 points and third seed at Stanford outmuscled fifth seed at Nevada 84-56 as the Cardinals shot over 57% from three-point land. The College Basketball Invitational entered its semifinal stage for the men as Pittsburgh was in an overtime thriller and outlasted Butler 68-62 as Lamar Patterson had a double-double and Washington State easily had the Oregon State 57-42 and in the College Invitational Tournament Mercer escaped with a win over Old Dominion 79-73 as Justin Cecil scored 21 points. Robert Morris was defeated by Fairfield 67-61 Maurice Barrow's 19 points and Loyola Maryland was pounded by Utah State 77 to 69 as Preston Medlin was unstoppable with 26 points. The National Basketball Association had a plethora of games in action last night as the Phoenix Suns couldn't contain Ryan Anderson's 29 sizzling points and lost to the Orlando Magic 103 to 93. The Chicago Bulls, still without their reigning MVP Derrick Rose, had no problems with the Toronto Raptors and won 94 to 82 as Lou Aldane scored 17 points and 10 boards. The Cleveland Cavaliers needed an overtime against the Atlanta Hawks but came up a wee bit short 103 to 102 as Josh Smith had a commanding 32 points and grabbed 17 big boy rebounds while the Washington Wizards demolished the New Jersey Nets 108 to 89 as Jordan Crawford poured in 23 points and in the first national televised game the New York Knicks was in a tightly contested game all night long but managed to get by the Philadelphia 76ers 82 to 79 with Amari Stoudemire's 21 points for round one scores in the NBA. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and YouTube at CJ Sports and stay tuned for more updates in your next spiritual sports segment where we sprinkle a little spirituality <laughs> in your sports. I'm CJ. Be blessed and keep smiling because you look better when you do.